Hola everyone and welcome to Pokemon episode 27 of Sun and Moon. And I don't know anything about this one. <laughs> the episode came out like two weeks ago and I have no idea what it's about. Uh, I've been pretty busy so um, I'm going to be at doing two Sun and Moon videos today. And then I'm also going to be doing two Ruby Chibi videos today. Because I'm an insane person. And I want to overbear myself at every point. So, let's get to it, shall we? I'm not going to be emotionally breaking myself later today. No. 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 But you don't care. Let's get on with the live reaction. And three, two, one, go. Oh. There we go. Almost messed up the sound. And we start off with Team Skull, and somebody walking by with an Umbreon. Oh, that's, um, oh, what was his name? That's Lily's brother, the Team Skull Enforcer guy. So apparently at this point, he's not with Team Skull. All right, they're going to try and take his Umbreon. Very bad move. And he's using Lycanroc instead of Umbreon. Interesting choice. Also like the fact that it's an Ultra Ball. So now they not only want his Umbreon, but they want his Lycanroc. Alright. Do you all realize that Lycanroc is one of the fastest Pokemon in Alola? And it uses Stone Edge. Oh, that looks like it hurt. That looks like it hurt real bad. So does this mean Ash is going to get a midday form Lycanroc? Because that would have been perfectly alright with him getting midnight form. I like how you all just scooby dude off screen. What is your name? I should know it, but I don't. I'm horrible with names. Hi Team Rocket. Alright, so now Team Rocket wants his Lycan Rock. They're not going to fare any better. Shouldn't you all focus more on the fact of, you know, figuring out how to use that dark type Z crystal you all obtained? You know, I haven't forgotten about that. The red eyed Lycan Rock. But. All of Midnight Form Like and Rock have red eyes. Why would that make it any special? Okay, yeah, that's a good note to have. Rowlet training with Rockruff. Rowlet trying to use tackle with his talons in the sand gets stuck and leaves a perfect opportunity for. Uh, Rock Ruff to use Rock Throw, counters with Leaf Edge, now it's behind him all Naruto style. And Rock Ruff takes a tackle dead center. They didn't want to stop to take a break, and now they were both knocked out. Nope, they got up. I really hope Rowlet evolves. Did Rowlet fall asleep while in the middle of talking to Pikachu? Okay. Lit and Scratch didn't do much. 
Fire Fang! And it looked like it missed. I also just, I never really mentioned this before, but this is the first time that Ash has had a mouse, a cat, and a dog on his team at the same time. And let's not forget the owl. Hi, charge -a bug who belongs to Sophocles and not Ash. I'm still not over that. Okay, now they're talking about, uh, old what's-his-name from earlier. Oh, there's somebody with a Lycanroc Midnight form running around. And Ash is interested in challenging him, of course. I just like how all the Pokemon are just doing a conga line. Oh, goodbye Blastoise out of nowhere. Oh, and he's battling uh, Lycanroc. Oh, and Ash is going to stumble across the battle. On his way to the store, apparently. Blastoise goes in with a Skull Bash, and Lycanroc uses Counter. And Blastoise is apparently down. A 100 kilo Blastoise gets beaten with a counter. That is some impressive strength. Not to mention its speed. Hey, a Smeargle's in the background. I just noticed that while Rotom was taking a picture. Ash challenges into a fight, and then Lily comes in. Wow, that animation on your face, Ash. Gladian! That's his name! I knew it was right there on the tip of my tongue. I even thought Gladian, but I was like, no, nah, that just doesn't sound right. Alright, so that's what I figured. He was a little he was gonna be the cold one to his sister. And there's Rowlet. I was wondering why he was letting well Pikachu obviously, but Rockruff walk around with him, aside from the fact that, you know, there's a Lycan Rock running around. I was like, why not let Litton and Rowlet come along with you? Oh, well, well, there's Rowlet in his backpack. So now Gladion's interested in Ash because he has a Z ring as Battle Tapu Koko. I'll think about it. Huh. I'm honestly surprised they let in on the fact that he's Louie's brother this early. I figured they were going to milk that for all it was worth. 
Now, so he's been gone for six months, apparently. All right, so he just went off the train by himself. Well, I mean, when somebody leaves and trains for six months, do you really expect them to come back the same? I mean, you could tell by the photo that he was a very optimistic, upbeat child. But with the way he is now, a little cold. I want a flashback with him. Holding an injured Eevee, which I'm assuming is his Umbreon. Alright, so Eevee was his first Pokemon instead of what I assumed to be Rockruff. Oh, hi, Butterfree. Yeah, you're remembering something that happened literally not two minutes ago in Showtime. Alright, so now he's telling Professor Kukui about it. And Ash, why with the Rowlet shirt? And Rockruff is playing around a lot. Ro Rockruff is really happy. I honestly would not mind seeing Ash with a midnight form rock uh lichen rock. But seeing as how oh, hi Wimpod. Just a random Wimpod scurrying across the sea. Everybody's asleep, and I'm assuming Gladian's gonna just show up all creeper style. No, but Umbreon did. On the roof. With a letter. Pikachu's gonna shock him awake, isn't he? Yep! You wouldn't wake up to me shaking you. I'm gonna electrocute you. Because logic. That animation. Ash, why would you yell and wake up everybody? Intermission, intermission. Lichen Rock. Hello, Team Rocket. Are you going to come across that wind pod and catch it and get a Glossopede, I believe it's called? Probably not. I would like it if you did. Just so. One of them would be relevant to the story. Oh, and there's Gladian. Just standing there. Alright, they're intrigued by a sunrise like that. Even Wobbuffet's eyes are sparkling. What you can see of them. I allow you to prove your skill. And of course, Ash chooses Rock Rough. 
There's the Ultra Ball, so it's Lycanroc. That's kind of a mixed matched fight. Lycanroc trained for years and then had six months of special training. And Rockruff has barely even mastered Rock Throw. I can tell how this fight's going to end. Yeah, and that bite did absolutely nothing. Honestly, Ash, your best bet to go up against that Lycan Rock would have been Pikachu. That would have been your best bet. Really? His Lycan Rock knows bite instead of crunch. Oh my god, that was brilliant. And brutal. Used. Had him. <clears throat> Hold on, I'm still processing that, that in my head. By the way, Team Rocket's interfering. So while they're doing their model, I'll say this. He used Rock uh, Stone Edge. The rocks were coming up. He... Inter Instant transmissioned himself in front of Rock Ruff. He gets hit by the Stone Edge and then bite as soon as the Stone Edge is complete. That is brutal. I love it. And now, and now Team Rocket captured Lycan Rock and Pikachu. Lycan Rock's gonna break out of it without a problem, is he? And now we're just going to keep chase with you all in a, in a jeep. Umbreon uses Dark Pulse. That ought to do something. And it blew out the tire. And the net is broken. Oh, Gladian stepping up to finish them off. This is going to be brutal. A Z-Ring, the rock type. I was actually waiting to see the rock type Z-Ring in action. They will watch the world be destroyed. Okay. That's, um, that's a big rock. That's a really big rock. They are dead. How do they blast off? Okay, before I get to that, Gladion says to take on the queen of Akala Island in order to get Continental Crush. And there's Lily. 
Ash now has to rush off the Pokemon school. He doesn't feel comfortable battling in front of his sister. All right. I wouldn't mind seeing Ash's uh, Midnight Lycan Rock versus Gladian's like Midnight Lycan Rock. I doubt he'll get it because you know Ash doesn't copy often. How did you not notice him walk behind that rock literally two seconds ago? Alright, and that's the end of the episode. I'm going back to this one part. Where is it? Where is it? There's Continental Crush. Alright, Team Rocket blasts off. Beware! Grabbing a palm tree, pulling it back, slingshotting him himself, catches Team Rocket mid-flight, and then blasts off, holding both of them. That is... Wow! <laughs> Just fucking wow! Oh, man. That's the funniest beware catch I've seen thus far. That was amazing. <laughs> I love this Beware. I'm going to be so upset when this Beware is finally out of the series. Like, there's two things I want to happen, and then one which is more than likely going to happen. Beware is primarily on Melee Melee Ion. It's a predominant character in the series. And it's associated with Team Rocket. I would love it if either Jesse or James caught that Beware officially. Like it was an actual member of Team Rocket. I highly doubt that that'll happen, but I would like it to happen. The other thing, I would like Ash to catch it. Just because he would have a powerhouse fighting type on his team. I would be completely okay with that. But again, I don't think that'll happen. What I think will happen is the uh, Kahuna of Melee Melee, the fighting dude. In the game, when you first fight him, he only has, uh, what was it, Machop and... Crabrawler? I think it's Machop and Crabrawler. It's either Machop or, uh, I just forgot Hariyama's pre-evolution, but the pre-evolution to Hariyama, whatever that is. One of the two, but then the Elite Four, he has a Beware. I'm assuming that's going to be his Beware. But I'm rambling, so I'm just going to end it here. I will see you for episode 28, and I'll get started on that here in a second.